Hello everyone, Deep Toonster here, back with some more Wario Land 3. And an interesting tidbit about this game, remember last time, uh, at the very beginning, we saw Wario flying in an airplane and crashing and all that? Well, when you save a game and restart, uh, it doesn't do that anymore, it just starts right here at this screen. But you can still see the smoke from Wario's airplane. I guess he did kind of leave that unattended. So I don't know, just something kind of cool. A little tidbit to add some continuity. We were at the second world last time. And what I suspect that little gray uh, temple that says game, what I suspect that's for is there's sort of a golf mini game uh, that I heard about. So I'm guessing that's what that is. I'm not absolutely sure yet though. Because from this point on, this is 100% blind. I've not done this part of the game whatsoever. So let's get it on, Desert Ruins. That big tornado in the background wasn't very assuring though, holy crap. Alright, so we got these weird sand hands. That's fun to say. Aw oh, crap, of course there's another. These remind me of the hands in Super Mario Bros. 3 in World 8 that like pull you down when you're walking across, across these weird tiles. Probably know what I'm talking about if you played that, which most of you have, hopefully. Anyway, enough of that game. Let's get on with this game. Finally got across all those hands. Weird moon tile. Oh, crap. Here I go again, eating donuts. Okay, so I'm just going to have to jump around here, lose some weight. Maybe put on some 80s workout music. Okay, that's not necessary. Yay, we can shoulder bash those. Or you can actually do something useful in this game. What the heck? I got the red key? Okay. I'm supposed to get the gray key first, but if it's going to give me the red first, then I can't have any complaints now, can I? So I guess this game is even less linear than I thought. Oh crap. Damn it. Eh, it's not like it's a bit. I could have just jumped it like this across the sand the first time. I don't want to have to use the platforms. Why even have the platforms there if I can just jump across the sand? Okay, here we go. It's under. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, this is. Whoa, what? Okay, I was gonna say it was for when if you do. Oh, you can't shoulder bash when you're underneath the sand. Crap. Well, that sucks. Oh well. Whew. Alrighty then. So, I guess we gotta go right now. You notice I've been following the laws of platforms. I went left and then right. Ah, crap. Well, there's nothing I can really do here. Let's see what's underneath this sand. Can't ground pound, so... Even if I could, I probably wouldn't be able to do it underneath all this sand. Which I'm surprised Wario isn't suffocating right now. Holy crap. Um... Alright. So far this is getting pretty weird. I'm gonna have to jump across the platforms. I'm going to try out my theory though. I'm going to see if I can just jump across the sand and not even worry about the platforms. Here we go. Well, let's just try the platforms and if I get grabbed, I get grabbed. Yeah, you're nothing. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the catch. I can't get onto that area unless I'm on the platform. Alright, so they're not 100% stupid. This is Nintendo we're talking about here. Okay, choice of two doors. We take the left one first. I'm just following the laws of platformers here. Okay, there's the gray key. I'm gonna get two keys in the same level. So I guess, given a choice between the two chests, if I can even get to the red chest, that's the thing. You can get the key, but maybe you can't get to the chest just yet. So if I see the gray chest, I'm gonna open that one first. Damn it! These enemies are like an obstacle keeping you from jumping up onto these platforms. Especially that one over there on the left that only walks like two feet because the platform's so small. What the? Um, can I fit through there? Mm, I can't jump and duck. Oh, I can here. Maybe I just let go of it. Something tells me that's not what you're supposed to do though. But I can't like throw an enemy through it or anything because I can't pick up enemies. Maybe there's a way to. Huh? What the heck would moving that pillar do? I mean, maybe it moves over to the left? Um, I'm quite confused. Oh, crap. Alright, I'm gonna try this one more time. If it seems impossible, then I'll just go on my merry way. Because I do have the red key. There's my backup plan. It's weird. The red key was easier than getting the great... Oh, come on. This controller makes it so hard to move 
hold down, like I think it's impossible to hold down and move right at the same time. So if this is what I have to do, it's going to be a pain. Why would they have you do that though? That's such a weird way to get a key. Like having to duck and then move over to an opening. I did it though. Okay. Okay. Uh, that, that was a really weird way to get a key, I must admit. But we got it, so no complaints. Ah, crap. Oh, we got stabby robots now. Last one's put me on fire. These ones are gonna stab me. So violent. Speaking of violence, jeez. Those things take two hits. They are pretty bulky, though. Getting down these ladders can be a pain sometimes. Sometimes it just doesn't register. I see we have a musical note down here. Pick that up. First one in the level. Ah, crap. I charged into it and had its spear pointing at me. How far does this go down? Well, this is really the only other area I can go to, so... Let's just go as far as it takes us. See how far the rabbit hole takes us. Oh, they have the silver coins in this game, too. Nice. But I don't see the point of coins in this game, because in Wario Land 2, the coins were used for... bonuses that you get. But here... Oh, crap! I didn't know you could do that to me. So here we have our spring power. I'm um, gonna have to find out how to get rid of it thing is, if I get hit by him, I have to go all the way to the top. And, oh, I guess this one runs out with time. Okay. I could have just waited down there. I didn't have to go all the way back up here. Just making more work for myself. I also noticed that Wario's clothes are white in this game. What the heck? Is that my emulator, or is that actually how it was? Kind of cool. Nice, uh... It's like, um, Mario, there's a costume that Mario can get in Super Smash Bros. Brawl that's kind of like that, the white and black. It's pretty cool. Alright, so here's our prize, this door here. That takes us to another area, there's the gray chest, alright. So we did get the gray chest first. Which is fine by me, getting the gray key though was kind of weird. But I won't stay on that too long. What's that, a speech bubble? Page of a book? A book itself? I don't know. I've heard that these uh, treasures that you get can give you uh, abilities, so I'm guessing that's where our power-ups are going to come from, these treasures that I'm getting. But so far, I haven't seen any indication that I'm getting, you know, stronger from these or any new abilities. So I don't know. Alright, so, uh... I really didn't unlock a new level this time. At least that's what it seems like. Let's go over to the temple and see what it says. Oh, we're actually doing the cutscene this time. Hidden figure. Oh, that's the guy. Head for desert ruins. I did. Okay. So, I guess we have to go there at nighttime now. And that's going to be another aspect of this game, apparently, that... Well, as we saw last time, the levels change from night and day. So, some areas you can only unlock during the, the night or day or, you know, whatever. My guys are sleeping here at night, which makes sense, I guess. Maybe this is... Oh! Okay, so the moon blocks are open at night. Alright, that makes sense. Here I am getting fat again. I want to kind of go over and get that red key again, because... Maybe it's nighttime where you can get the red chest. It's just an educated guess here. I mean, there's no point in getting the gray chest again. Crap. Like I'm saying, there's no point in getting the gray chest. What the heck? Oh, the key, of course. I was like, why am I frozen here? So I think it's red that comes after gray. Yeah, it is. So, it makes sense. This is probably the area where it happens. Can't break that block. Oh, I can't ground panel. I keep forgetting that, man. Gotta get used to that. Alright, so this is like the first instance where you're kind of seeing the effects of night and day. And what the hell did that thing just do to me? Did it split me in half? Holy crap. How did Wario survive that? He like just went back together. He's like, I don't give a crap. Look at that. He doesn't give any fucks. Alright. Whew. So really, they're just a hindrance. I'm guessing if you get hit when you're on a ladder, you'll fall down the ladder. That's really the only obstacle to that, though. Gives you a funny cutscene, though. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't break that. Yeah, my head's not strong. So, I have to go through this door. Ooh, or go through this pillar. Nope. Doesn't look like I can do that either. Oh, there's the red chest. Okay. Well, that was fairly easy. I'd say that was easier than the freaking gray chest just because of how awkward it was to get the key. Okay, that looks like another half to that thing we got last time. So it's like a tablet or something like that. Hmm. Oh, see here's like a little cutscene they do. They did this when I got the axe in the first level too. And it showed Wario like using it to cut something. So I was thinking maybe like I can cut things now. But I haven't seen it really any instances where that'd be useful. Unless I just completely missed it. Alright, so here we have the next level unlocked. The volcano's base. You just know there's going to be lava here. I don't know why I keep switching between the levels. Because we know which one we're going to. And we know that we're going left here at the very start. This place looks like it could get pretty big. I don't know, I just had that feeling. Big outdoor area. Okay, we got two blocks I really can't get to right now. Is there a place I can roll? I haven't seen one. Oh, I can roll here. I just did. Okay, I'm gonna have to jump there. I do see a coin I can get, though. I wonder if I can jump up and get that. Whoops. I gotta start rolling first, though. Yep, we can. Nice. I see a door there. Let's see what's up here first, though. Uh, another hill. Just blindly rolling down it. Or, I don't know if rolling down is the correct grammar there, but you know what I mean. Hmm, wow, there's a lot of rolling here apparently. Let's just go through that door. No sense in just going past further than where we need to be. Oh crap, I forgot I have to jump there. It can be kind of tricky. At least you don't stop rolling if you hit the ceiling or something. Yep, like that. Okay, good. Ooh, looks hot in here. Holy crap, what the heck is that thing? It's gonna penetrate me if I'm not careful. That looks pretty concealed, like I can... Well, I can't really bash the wall when I'm climbing a ladder, now can I? Well, that wasn't that bad. That coin's bugging me, though. I can't ground pound, so... Yeah. I don't know. Just forget it. Let's go up this pipe. Oof, that looks like it make you dizzy. It's starting to remind me kind of Guts Man stage in the first Mega Man game. I don't know why, it just is. I'm, I'm pretty sure... Okay, can I please stand... Nope! Cheese. It looked like a platform you might be able to stand on, but it, it also looked like a platform you can go through, so I was kind of taking a gamble there. Oh well. We can get back there real quick. I, w I am going to do a test, because I was thinking about something when I was in that room with those things that jet out of the wall. I was thinking that maybe, and this is kind of crazy, but uh, might be able to stand on them like a platform. I don't know why I think that, because like, you see that they turn like whitish for a split second there. Like a pla oh, I bounced off it there. That was weird. Ah, uh, this is gonna be crazy. Well, I can't do it when he's spiky. Let's just test him on this one right here. I can't. I can like bounce off it. That's weird. Didn't look like I could like physically stand on it though. So really, have, don't have much use for doing that anyway. Oh well. We'll figure it out eventually, I'm guessing, how to get that coin. Yes, I'm still obsessed about that coin. That's the whole reason I tried that theory out. It's not really a theory, you know what I mean. Uh, okay, how do I make this thing move? Move. Move. It's not moving. Well, if it's not moving, there's not much I can do about it. Aw, oh, crap. Another coin I can get. I don't know why, but I want to get those coins. I can probably get it another way later, so I'm, I'm going to hold off on that urge. Okay, there's the gray key. So it might be to our advantage to pick that up. Get out of my way. Got to do some rolling. Have I been to this part of this area before? Yeah, I have. I recognize that red pipe. Okay, this is going to be weird. Which blocks do I have to break to get in there? Oh, crap. I have to jump twice. One. Ah, oh, crap. I have to jump pretty early when I get down there. One, two. Oh, wow. I have to jump really early. Like, I'm, when I'm at just the base of the 
hill. Like, maybe even before the base of the hill. Like, when I start rolling. Yeah. Like, even that was too early, or too late. So the minute I start rolling is when I have to jump. Oh, wow. Just barely didn't make it. That's turning out to be kind of a hassle. There we go. Finally got it. And with that, we get our key. Now for part two of our mission, we gotta find the chest. And it's probably not too far. I don't know, I just had that hunch. Because this is a big area, but, you know, it's a big area we're gonna explore throughout the course of four different chests. Uh, what the heck? Ooh, I think I see what I have to do here. How would I get that coin, though, is what I'm at. Okay. First of all, let's, uh, blaze our way back. Dang. Not a very big heel to get a... Not a very big heel to get a nice roll on. Oh, my goodness. You don't have very much leverage at all here. You have to, like, jump the instant you start rolling like that. Like, even that was too late. Holy crap, man. Give me a break. Um... Pretty sure I jump the minute I start rolling, or the split second, rather. Come on. What? Are you kidding me? There's really nothing else I can do. I can't be stuck here. I have to be able to use this. They wouldn't put this there. The only reason this would be here is to break these blocks. Oh my goodness! I cannot break these blocks, man. Like, is there a way I can hold back my magnitude or momentum I mean Cause there, I am jumping as soon as I can like I really am Let's try one more time Wow uh, well this is gonna take me a while I guess oh <laughs> why was I jumping why was I jumping? That was so dumb. I didn't have to jump. It was gonna roll me down there anyway. I thought I had to jump because I saw that little, uh, that little nudge there on the bottom level. And I thought I might run into that if I don't jump, but you don't. You just go right over it. Jeez, that was really dumb. Okay, we finally got past that obstacle. Uh, now, we have to realize what we have to do as far as getting that coin. I'm gonna get that coin. It's just calling me. Now that's gonna be my Achilles heel here, get these coins. Coins. Alright. To jump the oh yeah, this jump again. One you have to like do is right when you start rolling. Like that one you do have to have good timing for. The other one I was just being stupid. There we go. Probably should have. Yeah, what I should have done is... Well, I can do it now, anyway. Let's jump up to this level here. And... But this is what I did before, so... Oh, I didn't get up to this level here. Oh, okay, good, we killed him. Let's see if we can get up this coin. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna have to use a hill. But where's a hill that can send me up there? It's turned out to be my, like, real first challenging level of this game. Which I'm sure will be the first of many. There is no hill that can make me venture all the way over there. Unless it's on the entire opposite side. Which I highly doubt. Well, let's just go back over there then. Is this a shortcut? This isn't a shortcut. This is where that door is. Where I got the key. No, I got the key over to the right. I can't remember what was in that. Oh yeah, the jetting platforms, that's right. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's gonna take me like five minutes every time I come to this jump, isn't it? There we go. Ah, oh, crap. Sure can save some time if I jump. <gasps> oh, oh, okay, okay. I know I can ha how I can have the rolling momentum. Wow, this is gonna be a very challenging roll. Okay, I'm up for this, man. See if we can. Well, I can't do it if I jump too late. If you have no idea what I'm getting at here, you'll see soon enough, hopefully. Well, here, 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 here. Yeah, I did it. Nice. 
So that's how you get the coin. But I need to find a way... Oh, okay, I can just fall down. Okay, so if I fall down from that area up here, I should roll down and break these blocks here. And hopefully I can go into that pipe. Usually you can't go into a pipe. Well, I shouldn't say that. But a lot of these pipes you can't go down like this right here. But you can go up them, I've noticed. So if the pipes are opening above you, you can go in them. I don't know, that's just kind of a hypothesis, if you will. There we go. Okay, so don't jump here. Voila. Oh, that gray coin has to tempt me. At least I got it in time. I don't even know what those coins are for. Why am I tempted by... What the hell? Okay. We got a mini boss here, apparently. Or maybe this is a full-fledged boss. I saw that blinking barrel. I don't think I hit it in time. Oh, crap. <gasps> oh, you... No, don't hit those. Damn. Um, alright then. So, I wasn't quite prepared for that. Oh, and here's that. Oh. I'm pretty sure I can't reach that. I'm pretty sure I have to beat that guy in order to get to that chest. Alright, so let's try it again. Alright, here we go. Weird hammer boss, take two. So I'm guessing I just have to shoulder bash these big... Oh my gosh! Like... You have to hit the barrels, but at the same time, you gotta dodge the hammers. Jeez, think for a second there. Okay, I'm just gonna wait here for this to run out, and I'll meet you guys back there. Alright, this time, we're not only gonna try to hit the barrels, but we're gonna try to dodge the hammers, too. Alright, give me your best shot. I'm not gonna go for it. I know your trick. Uh, looks like I got some timing. Aw, oh, crap! Of course it disappears the second I try to go for it. Okay, so you like you have to bring him down to the ground. I get oh, well, I almost got hit by that one. Okay, now what? He's on the ground. Oh, what's he doing? Uh, I'm guessing I do not want to get hit by him. I have to hit him from behind, probably. That's my first guess here. Whoa. Okay, good. That's what I had to do. He's not done yet, though. Come on. Oh, he keeps shaking the ground and freaking me out. He just brings you up on level though. Oh, you can hit him in the head too. You can just jump on a Mario stop. Oh my God. That was close. No, 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 no! I, I, you almost fell for that, and then you go and do it again. You put yourself in the same position that you almost got hit in. I'm talking to myself here, of course. Wow, I almost had him. I think we'll get him next time, though. Alright, let's do it. Alright, what you got? You ain't got nothing. Oh, don't start trash talking to me. Alright, so getting... Whoa. Hey! Jeez, man. So many close calls. Let's not flub it up at this part, though. I'm gonna try to just jump on his head. That seems to be the safer route than trying to get up behind him. And doing things that way. Because if you're on the same level as him, he has a better chance of hitting you with his hammers. Oh, crap, look. I got him in, like, a loop. Nice. Kind of cheating, but still. I'll take what I can get. Uh, is he gonna get out? Oh, wow, he was stuck in his... Uh, animation. Yeah, I'll call it that. The... Uh, animation. How many hits does this guy take? Do I have to hit him when he's in that? Yeah, I do. Okay. So I probably could have killed him a lot earlier. Ooh, nice. Um, what's it do? <laughs> it's nice, but what does it do? I'm guessing it takes me up to where that door was on the middle level. Oh wait, no, it's just telling me to go up. I thought it was a hammer, but it's just like a sign. Or a platform that you ride. Okay. That's weird. Couldn't just let you go up any other way. I didn't really mean to hit that chest. I was trying to break those, break those blocks, but then again, why was I trying to break the blocks? Things I do sometimes, man. So our reward for beating that guy was some overalls that looked strangely like Mario's. Maybe Mario's been around here. If those even are overalls, that's what they look like to me. Power-up. Okay, hey, is this a power-up? Probably, because it said power-up. I have no idea what overalls would help us do. Uh, it's going to show us here. It's going to help us butt slam. Yeah, our famous ground pound. So I guess I don't have to get too used to not having the ground pound. It's going to help us get rid of those frog statues. Or those frog platforms, I mean. That's nice. So I guess if I wanted to, I could go back to the earlier levels and... What the heck are those shining stars? Is that an indicator that I can get the red chest in those levels now? That's my guess. Jeez, man, that level was kind of challenging, like, for an early level. But again, this is the second world already, so it's not too early. 
But I think that'll be good for now, guys. Next time, we'll be maybe visiting those two shining levels I saw there and see if we can get the red keys. See you guys then. Thanks for watching.